Tonight, the man behind the new proposed 25 story building downtown now forced to defend himself against claims it will hurt the pristine Pikes Peak views for growing neighborhoods nearby. Cardio News Channel 13 Scott Harrison sat down with Kevin O'Neill about the attention and controversy that could put his project in jeopardy. When we reported on Tuesday to update the status of the high rise project proposed to be built in the block right behind me there, Officials with the local developer, the O'Neill Group, said they were not ready to discuss it publicly yet. However, that changed after the project received some criticism on Wednesday when it was reviewed for the first time by the Urban Renewal Authority. CEO Kevin O'Neill says he's speaking out now and in the wake of new complaints to a city councilman that the 25-story building will block the clear mountain views from the growing south downtown neighborhoods. His argument seems to be that it's not as tall as it sounds. Unfortunately, I think the height of the building uh, has been taken a little bit out of context and used for a little bit of hype. The building is actually uh, only about 20 foot taller than the Wells Fargo building. The difference is the 25 floors of residential are 10 foot high floors, <clears throat> where the commercial, they're 13 foot. But even City Council President Tom Strand expressed concerns to KRDO about the height of the building and our unique mountain views. O'Neill says it's all about progress for our 150 year old city on the Front Range. I don't think we're building it in Denver's likeness. I think we're building it in the Colorado Springs size and standard that fits our community. We're, we're trying to do the right thing by the community. Uh, some people are comfortable with change. Uh, some people are not. O'Neill also revealed on Friday that this high rise concept is his first development project. Coming up tonight at six, we'll explain why here and why now. In Colorado Springs, Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13.